Hey guys, it's Heather from Cal of a Plan, and today I'm going to be sharing with y'all the new Tombow VIP Club Creativity Kit. This is their first time to do a creativity kit, and I'm really excited to share it with you guys today. I haven't opened it yet. I know, I know what's inside just based off the email that they sent me, but I really don't know what's inside, and I've never like done this before, so hopefully I can figure it out. But this is called the Creativity Kit, and basically what the Creativity Kit is is it's a curated box based on pro based on projects. So this box is supposed to like guide you through making a particular project. Um, it includes all the time of products you need to create a project from start to finish. So this one is called the Mixed Media Creativity Kit, and it's supposed to help me create a beautiful watercolor galaxy silhouette. <laughs> I really hope it really has directions on how to do that because... I have no clue. <laughs> this releases today on their website, so I will put a link in the description so that you can check it out. The link is an affiliate link, which means I might earn a small percentage if you choose to purchase using the link, but it will not change the cost for you at all. So let's check it out. I don't I don't know how limited this box is, so it might sell out. Um, it probably will. I think their VIP kits typically sell out, and this is their first time to do a creativity kit like this. So yeah, let's check it out. Okay, Tombow VIP Club creativity kit. It says bonus butterfly template, see reverse side. So here it shows us everything we have, we need, or that everything that comes in this. Okay, this looks pretty cute. It goes through and tells you the different supplies. Okay, and then here is our template. Trace the outline of this butterfly to use as a template um, for your watercolor galaxy silhouette or draw your own unique shape. All right, let's check it out. Here's our little package. Take some of that off. All right, let's put this box away. So this, I think, is just a sticker that I guess you get to keep to, like, remind you of this activity. Um, this one is just telling you to share it with the world and here are all of our supplies. So let's open this up. I'm like really nervous. So this is, this is not normally something I do. I mean, normally I use Tombow stuff like in my planner, but maybe I could turn this in to something with my planner. Okay. What you'll need Tombow dual brush pens. So we need black. Ultramarine, which I guess is this one. And then one of these is Process Blue. No, wait, this one is Ultramarine, this blue one. This one is Process Blue. And this one is Chartreuse. And I know that because it has the number, and then it has the number on your marker. Okay, then we have a Tombow water brush pen. So I'll need to go put water in this. Um, a glue pen which is this, a mono twin permanent marker, which is this, and then a foodie. So here's a foodie. And it says, for best results, use a smooth mixed media paper or hot press watercolor paper. So the paper does not come in this pack. I'm pretty sure I have some watercolor paper. Um, so I'll go get that when I fill up my water pen. And then it looks like it really does kind of walk you through the steps. So I'm going to go fill this up with water and find some watercolor paper. And then I'm going to try making this with y'all. Okay, so I pulled out, this is some watercolor paper I have. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn this into a divider. Um, that way I can put it in my planner. Because you guys know I love making stuff for my planner. This is a planner channel. So I'm going to do this activity on this divider so that I can then put it in my planner. So I am going to kind of trace the different lines. Put that divider away. Grab my paper trimmer. Okay. 
Okay, then I'm going to use my scissors to cut me a tab. Okay, and then I'm going to use my heavy blader punch. Put this divider in there. Punch it. Oh no! I didn't put it all the way in. Shoot! Now I gotta make another one. But you at least saw how I made it. So now I'm gonna go make another one. Okay, I have recut a new one. And this time I'm going to make sure it is all the way in on all sides. Apparently I did not pay attention to that last time. Punch. There we go. Now I have a real divider. Okay. I am kind of really nervous about this. Okay. Trace the outline of this. Now I was going to like cut it out, but what I think I'm going to do instead is grab some wax paper. Any good planner babe has wax paper near their desk, right? Okay, grab some wax paper. I'm going to grab this permanent... It does say you can draw your own unique shape. And I'm not trying to like be absolutely perfect on this. If you didn't want to mess with tracing this, you could just cut the butterfly all out of the paper because I'm going to be cutting it out of this wax paper. But I just didn't want to cut up the pa the little pamphlet. Okay, so now I have my butterfly draw on my wax paper and now I need to cut it out. Now I'm going to be using these directions. Step one says sketch or trace the shape of a butterfly onto a piece of watercolor paper. Next use the mono glue pen to draw dots and stars inside of the shape. Let it dry. The mono glue pen will write and appear clear on the paper. The light blue illustrations above are enhanced to provide guidance. And so then it kind of shows you how to put your dots and stars. Now, I've never done anything like this. I want to throw that out there. Like, I've never done anything like this. So, um, I'm wondering, I guess I, I guess I trace it with this pen. Maybe the thin side. Okay, I'm going to put my butterfly kind of towards the top of the page so that I can then add a quote down here. I thought that would be cute. So let's trace our butterfly. Okay. Okay, this part's gonna be a little harder. It does say you could draw your own butterfly if you're going to draw butterflies. I am not, so. I am choosing to trace. And I'm not even that good at tracing butterflies either, apparently. So.
Okay. There's my butterfly. It's not perfect, but it still looks cute. Okay, so then we take the glue pen. I've never even used the glue pen. This is like an all new project for me. So if I can do this, I feel like any of you can do this too. So, and all, like you could literally order this kit and then just rewatch this video and like see how to do it. If I, if I end up doing it right, it might end up being awful. And then you can rewatch this video to see how not to do it. Okay. So we got this glue pen. I'm going to take this scrap paper. Kind of make sure I get the glue run in. You have to like shake it. I guess I should have read the directions on the back of the pen. Remove cap, press and roll onto surface with slow, steady pressure. Okay. Okay, I think it's coming out. It's hard to tell because it's clear. Okay, so I am going to try and put mine in like similar spots to where they put theirs. So I'm doing these, I guess these are supposed to be stars, but they're like big plus signs. I don't know. And then just like I have no idea. Like, I have no idea if this glue is going on the page. <laughs> I hope it is. Now I'm doing polka dots. Like, how are you supposed to be able to see this? Oh yeah, it's going on there. Okay. If you kind of like move it in the light, you can kind of see it, which is helpful because then you can see where you don't really have anything. Like here's an empty spot. This is kind of an empty spot. Can y'all see? I don't know. Y'all probably can't see it when I move it, but I can. Okay, I think that's probably good. <laughs> All right. Step two, apply the color inside your shape using the dual brush pens. For simple color blending, keep the lightest color in the center, followed by, by mid-tones. Work your way out using the darkest color. So, I guess here I just color, and it says to keep the lighter color in the center. So this part may take me a while to color this whole thing. So I will speed this part up so that y'all aren't like super bored. But all I'm basically doing, I think, <laughs> is coloring. All right, so I have colored in my butterfly, and then step three says apply water to the ink using the medium water brush. Try to blend the lightest colors first and then move into the darker colors to blend them together. Be careful to stay inside of your silhouette and let it dry. Oh, <laughs> well, I just got water. Okay, so it says start with the lighter colors 
first. So I'm going to put some water right here on the blue, the light blue. Blend it in some. Pulling some of that blue into the light green kind of makes the edge look more green and the inside look more yellow, which their picture had yellow, has yellow in it. So I was a little confused. I was like, I don't have a yellow marker. And I do have like a yellow Tombow marker that I could have pulled out, but I was trying to just use what they put in the kit so that if you choose to buy the kit, then you know, like, you can use the same things that I used. This is actually turning out pretty cute so far. And the reason they want you to do the lighter colors first is because if you start pulling in the black right away, it's going to not look good. Because, like, you can see here, they don't really have the black, like, up in the green part. Okay, I thought I was going to be awful at this, but this is kind of fun. Okay, so I did the middle part. Now I'm going to work into the dark blue. Ah! It's changing the look a lot. Oh my goodness. I'm obviously not like an amazing blender. Oh, they, there's not any dark blue over there. You can tell I'm not like a watercolor pro, but I hope it like, incur like you can do this guys. If I can do this, it's literally just a wet brush that we're like blending and you just kind of squeeze the brush a little bit every so often to get like some more water. I don't want to pull too much of the dark blue into the green. Okay. And next is the black. Here I am trying to like run the brush over all parts because I do think it makes it look different when it's wet. Okay, that looks so cute. Let me zoom in some. Look how cute that looks. Okay, this I'm like, ooh, how many things can I make? A little, like I need like just a little drop of water down here kind of pull that up some okay now I'm gonna turn this around I can't believe that this looks so good guys I like was really skeptical when I got this I was like I'm not gonna be able to do this but I'm doing it and it looks so cute It probably doesn't look as cute as the one that they did, but they're pros. They're Tombow. Like, of course theirs is going to look better than mine. They've probably done this a million times. And comparison is a thief of joy. So I'm not going to look at other people's and be like, ooh, theirs looks better than mine. Because honestly, this is like so much fun for me right now. And I'm going to remember that I this brought, this activity brought me a lot of joy. And comparing it to other people is going to make me sad. <laughs> Okay, so I'm trying to like look at theirs and just like see what I can do to, I 
feel like this side like kind of turned out a little too black and this doesn't have like any black so I'm just trying to pull a little bit of black over here which then makes me feel like I need to maybe pull it down I think it looks cute. I love it. All right. I have like a little towel here that I've been wiping my brush on. So I'm just going to wipe and put the lid back on. All right. Next steps. It says once the ink has dried, use the mono permanent marker, which is this one to outline around the edge of the shape and add antenna. So I'm gonna let this dry. And then it says to use the foodie to add details outside of your galaxy or to embellish your art to print with perhaps a hand lettered quote or flourish flourishes. So I'm going to add a quote right here. I want it to be a good quote about like, cause it's a butterfly. So like something about like change is beautiful. So I have my iPad right here <laughs> and I'm just going to Google quotes. Quotes about change and butterflies. Like that's cute. Just when the caterpillar thought her life was over, she began to fly. Without change, there would be no butterflies. That's what I'm going to do. Without change, there would be no butterflies. Okay. Um... Whenever I start a new brush pen, I do like to, is this a hard or a soft? This is a hard tip, okay? So. Without, I'm trying to decide if change should be like bigger. No, I think butterfly should be bigger. So without. Okay, I have like a blue smudge on my hand. and I didn't realize it and I can, I'm like getting it on my page. So I'm gonna drop some water on it. And I'm gonna use this washcloth to try and get it off. There would be no, there would be no. Okay, so I need to fit a lot of words on this line. So I'm gonna start over here. There. Would be without change, there would be no Butter. I hate F's, y'all. I hate them. That one actually turned out okay. Without change, there would be no butterflies. Cute! And then I'm going to take this and 
add me my antennas. So where's my butterfly little page so I can see what the antenna should look like. Cute. And now I think I'm going to go back and retrace my butterfly because it'll make the edges nice and neat. Some In some spots you can kind of see where the watercolor bled out. So I'm going to go around, trace the butterfly, and then we'll be done. Oh my gosh, y'all, this makes me want to like cut out all kinds of shapes and just watercolor all kinds of things. This was so much fun. And I honestly thought at the beginning that this was gonna be a disaster. I was like, I've never done this before. This is gonna look awful. But I hope that it encourages you to try something new. Like how fun is this to just try something new? Spread your creativity around. I'm gonna finish going around and tracing it um, and then I'll put it in my planner. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, I hope you hit the like button. Go check out this kit from Tombow. It went on sale today. Um, and happy planning.